the fact of the matter is if you are negative, you have a negative attitude, you will actually, the, the studies show, people with negative attitudes make less than their counterparts that have positive attitudes. You're listening to the Dare to Be Different podcast, a podcast for people who want to live an extraordinary life. On this week's episode, Joe and Alicia talk about the benefits of being a positive person. Enjoy. Welcome to the Dare to be Different podcast. Straight from the Bahamas, we are here today. My name is Joe and I am here with my lovely wife, Alicia, travel partner, BFF. Oh, wow. Yes, I know, right? <laughs> I, I really struggled uh, with uh, Ed's introduction last on the last podcast. I just couldn't come up with any new adjectives, but for you, I feel like there's always something new and exciting <laughs> <laughs> that we can I keep you on your toes a little more than it does. <laughs> My accountability partner. <laughs> so the Dare to Be Different podcast is all about living an extraordinary life. And we use five words here to talk about that extraordinary life and, and to strategize on having an extraordinary life. And those are, go ahead, you can do them. Oh, wow. On, you Adventurous, got it. honest, passionate, healthy, and grateful. Yes. And I am so grateful that you are here with me. Oh, my God. You're laying it on thick I today. Am, I am laying it on thick. <laughs> so we did just get back from the Bahamas. Not, oh, to make, not to make anybody jealous, but we got back. I had a speaking engagement to do and got invited to, to go down to the Bahamas. Yes. And we had a lot of activities with this group that, we were, that I was speaking for. But we did get a little. We got a little bit of a relaxation time, which was very bit, nice. Yeah. yeah, and we had some new adventures. We did. It so, was great fun. It, so if you go to the Bahamas and you ever get a chance to go to the Power Boat Adventures, it was called, and it is an we excursion. Do, Nicholas, we do a lot yes. of free plugs for for companies. I, you should start reaching listen, out to I don't people. Know, whatever. But, it was great. But it was Power Boat I, Adventures. I would. Recommend them for free. Who cares? Yes. Um, it was that good. So it was a power boat that went over to two different islands off of the. We were in off, Nassau. Yeah, off of Nassau. And, um, and it was the Exuma Islands. Exuma Islands. So it takes you to two different ones. And it was about an hour boat ride. You get to feed iguanas. and then Which from, is really neat. Yeah, it was really neat. That water is just something else. Crystal clear. We'll have yeah. to put some pictures up. It's we'll, We have some pictures that we took. So if you're, if you're watching this podcast on, on YouTube, uh, we'll put some pictures up. The guys will throw some pictures in so you can see. But it was the prettiest place I've ever seen in my life. Yeah. And then uh, from there we went over, we fed the pigs, which sounds like... Swimming you, pigs. Swimming pigs. We swim at the pigs. Um, fed them, fed... The stingrays. Huge stingrays. Yeah. Enormous. They were. En enormous creatures. And if you want to, like, uh, I don't know, a comparison of what a stingray feels like, if you actually touch their, what do you call that, skin flap? I don't know. Uh, but they were, like, Wing. up on our laps. Yeah, it I'm not sure. Crazy. It's like if you're cutting raw chicken, that's the same exact kind of feeling, that thick. Uh, feels like yeah, raw chicken. Yeah, like feels like raw chicken. A little slimy. Um, but that was like really neat. Um, they eat off the bottom. So you hold the fish on the bottom of like between your two fingers and put and it down under it and they out. just like, yeah, slurp yeah. it off your Very fingers. Very neat experience. Um, if you put the fish down too soon, one of the other fish with teeth come over and eat your bait, food, whatever you food. call it. Sure. And, um, bite your finger. I learned that. So that was fun. <laughs> But other than that, and then we did the um, sharks. shark shark, shark wrangling. wrangling. I did not wrangle a shark per se, but um, you did. So that was fun. Yeah, it was fun. Crazy. These huge sharks swimming right there with you in the, and they're not, these aren't like somehow the. They're not tame. They're not, they're they're not like, tame no or one, vegetarian <laughs> sharks. Like they have. Broke. Yes, <laughs> they are. They are real um, aggressive sharks. So, yes, and I got to wrangle one. Teeth, so. so. Again, if you want to see some, if you want to see some videos and some pictures of that, check out um, our social media or go to joealtieri.com yeah. and you can see, you can click on Facebook and Instagram and see yes. some pictures. So it was a lot of fun. And no animals were harmed in the no animals of were this harmed. Adventure. No. <laughs> From what I was told, the sharks enjoy this. I sure. Don't, I don't know how and you the know pigs that, seemed really happy. They did. So I was happy. So <laughs> <laughs> you were happy. They look like they're smiling. <laughs> they so did. they look like they were smiling. I don't know. But, uh, but we're not going to talk about being adventurous, although that was a big, we had never been to the Bahamas before. We were yeah. around a lot of people that we didn't know. Yeah. So it was definitely a little outside of our comfort zone for sure. 
A little bit. It was, um, I don't know, A plus would recommend to a friend. Would recommend to a friend. <laughs> <laughs> but I want to talk today about a positive attitude because we met some people, some Bohemian people. Bohemian. Bohemian, not Bohemian, Bohemian people who had the best attitudes that I've ever met in my entire life. Would, I, would, you I would agree? imagine it would probably be pretty hard to be grumpy in the Bahamas, but I mean, we also did see some people that were grumpy in the yeah, Bahamas. Yeah, we had so. <laughs> we had one one bus driver that was he was a miserable dude. <laughs> I was like, it's time to find something else to do, buddy. Yeah, he should not be allowed to talk to no, anyone, anyone, let alone no. in, <laughs> in public, like dealing with hundreds of tourists every day. Yeah, but you, you know, we had two other drivers. One that was a bus driver and, and actually did some some tour guide stuff with us as we were riding in right. his bus, which was amazingly interesting. All of the stuff that, that the Bahamas has gone through and their place in the world and, and the way that the tourist industry, which is really the only industry in the yeah. Bahamas now, you know, what impact that plays on, on the islands. Uh, but then my favorite guy was the driver who took us from the, the hotel to the airport. He, Same. He thought I was real pretty. So he did. He <laughs> called you pretty many times. Um, which and he was complimenting me that I, you know, that I got you to marry me. So I guess I thought that that was <laughs> that was great. <laughs> That's not all it takes to get me to like you, but it does. But it's it, up there. it definitely helps. <laughs> yeah. If you, <laughs> yes, if you want to get on Alicia's good side, just tell her how pretty she is. <laughs> Sounds so <Done>. superficial. <laughs> <laughs> <So>. <laughs> but, like I said, that's not all it takes. But sure, it's so uh, it's whatever. <laughs> Anyway, moving on. <laughs> moving on. <laughs> but this guy was so positive that it, it was probably about a 25-minute drive from the hotel to the to airport. The airport. Yeah. And I wanted, to, I wanted to drive. And we were there with another couple. We were kind of sandwiched in with all of our luggage and everything into this car. And yeah. I probably would have ridden with him for like another two hours. Yeah. He was so much fun and so positive. And... and Truthfully, he, he made, of everything that we've tipped down there, you know, that we gave gratuity to, he made more from that trip than anything else that we did just because he was so great right. at <clears throat> being positive and making us feel great and happy and all that stuff. So I'm yeah. going to talk about... He probably having, does the whole, like, the same spiel to everyone that gets in his car, but I really don't care. It, it, <laughs> it <doesn't> worked. <laughs> but, you know, looking at him and... and, and Let's just say that he sets off to fake it. The enthusiasm, He's convincing. If yeah, the enthusiasm that he had, to me, yes, he might say the same things, but it's almost one of those you fake it to your make it because I can't imagine that that dude was miserable ever. No. Like, not with that type of attitude. Like, he was just so, so uplifting and so positive through, through everything. I'm like, man, this guy, his, he's got a great life. Yeah, you can't see him getting off work and going home and being like... Like kick his know, dog or yeah. something like that. Yeah. <laughs> oh my so. God, I wasn't going to go there. But <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say being like the other taxi driver who was just miserable and shouldn't be around people. But yes, I, maybe he does kick his dog. I don't know. I hope he does I don't think he does. I don't think it's possible. He, is, <laughs> he was such a positive guy that I can't imagine that, that he did. But... A positive attitude. As a disclaimer, don't kick your dog. We don't support it. No, no matter how <laughs> miserable you are, how bad life is, do not kick your dog. <laughs> I'll be really upset if I ever see somebody kicking the dog. And so. then we'll, it would have to come on with us. and Yeah, and then I would have a bad attitude towards that person. But <laughs> So a positive, we're getting way off track. Way off. So <laughs> positive attitude is a state of mind that allows you to envision and expect good things. That's kind of the... It's kind of the definition that we're, we're going to work with today. All right. So uh, it's a state of mind that allows you to envision and expect good things. So in the Bahamas, they've had a lot of tra tragedy down there. Hurricanes. Um, definitely there's tons of poverty down there. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of um, illegal immigration from Haiti and the Dominican and things like that. As was explained to us, there's a lot of drug use that is coming into the to the islands because of that illegal immigration and, and things like that. But <clears throat> he had this way of looking past all of those and, and ex he was expecting good things and, and envisioning good things. I, I think that would be a really great way of describing him, wouldn't you say? 
yeah, he just, his outlook was just, you again, you just couldn't imagine him being miserable or anything like that. And just the way he projected positivity made everyone in the car positive as well. We were all laughing and, you know, it made just a, a regular ride to the airport or whatever um, just enjoyable. Yeah, or, and, yeah, and legitimately a tight ride. I had luggage and stuff on my lap. I mean, it was, we were shoulder to shoulder with people we didn't really know. Yeah. And so, but he made it, made it very, very positive. So I, I saw this quote and I like this. this. There's a guy named William James. He was an American philosopher and psychologist. He said, the greatest discovery of any generation is that a human being can alter his life by altering his attitude. Change your life when you change your attitude. Do you, do you agree? Absolutely. Yeah. Um, just being, you know, the mom side of, you know, my life and who I am, um, raising kids and teenagers, getting through the teenage years, um, has been a lot of talk towards our, to our children about, you know, positivity, you know, teenagers sometimes are a little bit more apt to think that everything is terrible during Not certain years. Not teenagers. I know, as shocking as that no may seem. No way. Um, you know, through those couple years, couple several <laughs> years that seem like uh, they go on forever. Um, and with us, as one was coming out of those years, the next one was headed right into it um, and several at the same time. So we kind of dealt with this on repeat for, you know, quite a time. But it was the same thing that I would tell them, like, um, change your attitude towards it, like see the positive. Cause there's, you know, there's good there. That mm -hmm. was just like the phrase that I had to keep on repeat was there's good there. You just have to see it. Focus on that. You know, if you focus on all of the bad things, you know, there are bad things in, in everyone's life. No one's exempt from it. Um, but if you focus on that and solely make that your, your vision of how your life is, is just those handful of bad things, even if, there's, you know, 85% good and 15% bad. If you focus on the 15, you know, you're just going to think that that's the way the rest of the 85% is just overshadowed by this negative aspect of your life. Yeah, and pretty soon you won't even see the positive. Yeah, I, I, uh, I had spoken with Michelle um, Croyle, who's a, a licensed therapist, a couple, yes. couple podcasts ago, and we talked about negativity bias, which is, again, looking towards the things that are negative in your life first before looking at the positive. So even though something, there might be this much, and I'm, for those of you that are listening, I'm holding my fingers an inch, inch apart, <laughs> might be this much that is going on in your life that might be construed as negative and everything else is huge, hugely positive. Arms wide apart. <laughs> Arms wide apart now. Um, that's how big the sharks were. That big. Okay. They were huge. Focus. But, the, <laughs> but we, we, we look at that negative as the overwhelming point of view within our right, lives. Right. So, well, let's talk about the benefits of a positive attitude, other than getting big tips from the people that you're, you're working with, although increased pr productivity is actually one of them, you know, work productivity and stuff like that. But the first one, and we've talked about this in the past, if you have a positive attitude, you have better heart health. It has been proven over and over and over again, that people that have a positive attitude have less heart conditions than those that have a negative attitude. Well, that's just crazy. It is. That it's a philosoph ph physiological thing that happens. Your brain, that when you're positive, your brain um, allows your, your body to heal itself. Or from the conversely, when you have negativity and stress and all of those things, that it actually harms your body. So, Interesting. yeah, I mean, so just to be healthier, you have a positive, better positive attitude, you have less chance of having a heart attack. But then, and on top of it, your time in the hospital becomes less if you do have something that goes on that, that people that are hospitalized, especially for heart conditions that have a positive attitude, spend less time in the hospital. And then also mortality rates for people that are positive are much less for, for heart conditions than people that have negative attitudes. I mean, that's huge. If it nothing is. else, <laughs> that by itself, that. you know, just having a positive, optimistic outlook on life and you live longer. Yeah. Like that should be it. That should be the list. That's, that's all you need to know. Yeah. Yeah. And 
for all the extroverts and people that enjoy being around other people, people will want to be around you if you're positive. <laughs> they will not want to be around a negative person. So the the next uh, the next benefit was is an active and curious mind. So when we have a positive outlook on life, when we have a positive attitude, we become more receptive to new information, and we we're willing to try new things out without the fear of failure. So this kind of gets into our adventurous things, you know, um, aspect of, of living an extraordinary life. When you have a positive outlook, you're actually more willing to try adventurous things because you don't have this, this in the back of your mind going, it's just going to suck. It's going to be terrible. You're going to fail at it. Th- that type of thing. Yeah. Or, you know, the, the fears that go along with the negativity as well. I think that those two sometimes go hand in hand where it's, you know, it's not just the thinking negatively about something, it might be also, you know, this can't go well, but I could get hurt or, you know, or something bad could happen, et cetera, where it's, it's also some fears leading into the negativity as well, if that makes sense. Mm -hmm. Yeah, absolutely. So, uh, the next benefit would be increased productivity at work. So if you're more positive, you get more stuff done at work, which means you get more promotions, which means you make more money, which a lot of people, that is very important to them. You know, being able to provide for your family in the best way that you can. The fact of the matter is if you are negative, if you have a negative attitude, you will actually, the, the studies show people with negative attitudes make less than their counterparts that have positive attitudes. Makes total sense. It does. <laughs> Uh, I mean, as somebody who runs several businesses, you know, we can, you can understand that. Yeah. You go, wow, if I have a positive employee doing exactly the same job as a negative employee, the odds are that the positive employee is going to rise through the ranks faster. Yeah, exactly. Or get promoted or not just to get promoted, but also get raises and things like that because. Yeah. Why would you give Debbie Downer a raise whenever they're just, you know, bringing the whole company and the atmosphere down with them and people that they talk to and customer service or, you know, whatever even comes across in emails or, you know, not mm-hmm. face-to-face contact. Yeah. And, and there's also an aspect of self-confidence that comes with positivity. When you're a positive person and typically there's, there's, you exude self-confidence, which again is typically one of the things that a boss is looking for is somebody who is self-confident and that helps through the the promotion process right, and right. things like that. Well, you want to believe in your employee that they are capable of things. And if they believe in themselves, then you're more likely to believe that they actually are capable. Right. <laughs> yeah. Fake it till you make it. Right, Nicholas? <laughs> 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 so the next thing is overcoming, when you're a positive person, overcoming obstacles becomes easier. Again, this seems like it would make a lot of sense until you're like, you you think about it. You would think that this is obvious until it's not obvious. You know, if, if you're a negative person, you don't see your negativity as something that holds you back or makes life more difficult or helps you. It doesn't allow you to overcome obstacles as much, but it's true. If you're a positive person, you're willing to try new things. You, you have something in your way. You're like, I know I can get past that. And if this doesn't work, I'm going to try yeah, something I think, else. I think you would think outside the box a little bit more than... Um, somebody who was negative is like, well, that won't work. This won't work. There's no op- another option. Um, but somebody with a positive attitude would say, you know, let me try this. Let me try that way. Let me try all these different avenues until I find something to work because something has to work. You know, whereas a negative person would just shut every option down and not even probably not even try much. Right. So. So the next uh, the next advantage is better. Re- you had mentioned this before, better re- relationships and social life. So Positive people have better relationships and better social life than negative people. True. Not true. just the fact that people, and this is interesting, it's not just the fact that people want to be around positive people because they're positive, which is the case. I mean, you know positive people, you know negative people. Yeah. Which one do you want to be around more? <laughs> I think it's a tough choice. <laughs> I would go with positive. I actually, um, years and years ago, and and not that this is the only negative person that has ever come across, you know, our paths and through our lives. But years ago, I was friends names? with oh, God. No, um, <laughs> I don't. I don't talk to this person anyway anymore. So you know. <laughs> anyway, so this 
woman that I was friends with, she was kind of in the same stage of life. Her kids were a little bit younger. Um, we lived close to each other and she um, just really, I, I don't know, she just wanted a friend, was a little bit lonely, whatever. She would reach out to me quite often, almost every day she would call. Um, and this is before any sort of social media. This is like way back in the dark ages, you know, like when we were raising, we we're old. Wow. So. <laughs> hey, Nicholas, do you remember a time before social media? Oh, really? he does. Wow. What were like when you were like two? oh he remembers getting instagram okay so anyway so this is before that where you actually would you know make a phone call you have to call somebody oh my goodness to use your phone for a call for for what it's used to be intended for right um but anyway so this she would talk to me about you know all the different things in her life and you know she was uh, married for a couple years was just having her second baby her husband worked. She got to stay at home and, you know, raise her kids. And they had just bought a house. And, um, you know, so there was a lot of, if you look at that from the things that I just said, there's a lot of ways that you can see positive things in her life, right? Mm-hmm. She only saw the negative. And so it was just like she would call and it was just like so complaining, you know, the whole time, like just this whiny, you know, mm-hmm. conversation over and over again. And I would try and say like, well, you know, it, you just look at your house. It's so cute. And, you know, you can, I'll come over and help you and paint and we can, you know, fix it up really cute. Aren't you excited for the baby's nursery and, you know, to do a little pink room now because she has a son before. And, um, and it was just one thing after another to come, well, I have to paint that room or, you know, whatever it was, it would just find, she would just find a negative to talk about. And after, um, you know, several weeks of just pretty intense conversations about, all these different things. And and I feel like maybe I was the only person she had to talk to at the time. Right. And um, so, but trying to point out positive things for an extended period of time and it's just not working. And then pretty soon it was just like draining. You know, you ever have someone that's just kind of like one of those people that's so negative that they actually are pulling you along, even though you tried really hard in the beginning to, you know, Set, spread some positivity to their life or help them to see the good. They've just and become just, so negative that they're like an yeah, anchor it's to your... almost like a life sucker, mm-hmm. you know? And um, I was just like, I just really, you know... And at that time, caller ID was like a new thing. <laughs> and so you would see the <laughs> wow. call come in and it was like, oh, I just can't today, you know? And it yep. was just as terrible as that sounds and as bad as that makes, you know, you feel as a person that you just kind of ignored someone's call because you just can't do it again right you know um you just have to sometimes make that call is that i make the call to ignore the call i guess right. you know like um, i just can't do I just this can't. It, it, it's, it's hurting just, my soul yeah, yeah. as much as person. i'm trying it's just not some people just don't want positivity in their life they just you know after repeat attempts you could just tell that this is just part of her character she's just negative you know and so you cut that contact out and the you know, not that I wasn't friendly with her or anything like that, but I just, you know, you just can't have somebody like that just pour uh, like yep. hours into your day. And um, so it, it was just, it's a tough call, but it's, it's sometimes a must do thing, you know, is just to, to stop that negativity. Um, you have to distance yourself from that negative you do. person. Yep. And um, even though it was hard, it was like, you're really getting into healthy. some of our strategies Sorry. here. Sorry. So. Uh, skipping ahead, <sighs> maybe. <laughs> So, but it was, you know, it's, it's hard to be around negative people to the point of who wants to be around a positive or a negative person. You know, that's just a difficult personality to be around, even if it's a character flaw or if it's um, just part of who they are. Yeah. And what's really interesting is that uh, positive people have built in psychological resilience, which means that they're better able to respond to negative moments. So a positive person has this built-in mechanism for, or maybe may, many mechanisms for dealing with negative, um, negative situations. And typically in any relationship, there comes a time where there are negative things that come between people, right? Mm-hmm. And if you have a negative person, they don't have, the, they don't have these built-in responses, positive type of responses so then it just becomes things blow up, right? So you, you know, something happens and now the negative person has 
made it much worse because of the way that they respond to it. Where a positive person, they use, you know, humor, you know, creativity, you know, like different, different things to, to try to help the situation rather than escalate it. So that's one of the things as well. So it's not just, oh my goodness, when I talk to this person, they bring me down. But, the, but typically, positive people have much better coping me- mechanisms for negative things that come in their life. So, so it, you know, I don't just not want to talk to the negative person when some sort of strife happens in your life. They make life even worse in that, that relationship too, which is, we've seen that in quite yeah. a few relationships in, yeah. in, in our marriage and, and our friends and family and stuff like that. So last big advantage to having a positive, positive attitude is better, positive people have better recovery processes. So this, we talked about heart health, but this is other physical things that, that happen. Everything from broken bones to sickness, things like that. Positive people actually recover faster. And then also psychologically that positive people, you know, because positive people go through psychological trauma, just like everyone else does. And, but positive people actually recover from those things much, much, much faster. So again, one more, one more plus to the positive side. Yeah. I think that, um, the message that sometimes can be heard about, you know, us saying positive people are, you know, all together do better, you know, is that, um, I don't know, like that that the negativity can sometimes not happen to positive people. Like the bad things in life cannot ha- don't happen to positive people because of their positive a- attitude, which is entirely false. You know, yeah, it's, like it's, no matter how positive a like person you are, yep. you have ups and downs, and sometimes extreme downs, and you know, rough patches and rough periods of time that sometimes is longer than just a minute of your day. It could be, you know a really tough time that you have to maneuver through life and, and learn how to overcome things. Even if you're the most positive person, those things still happen. Um, positive people, you know, probably have a better, I would say skill (laughs) set to overcome those things. But, um, you know, I just, even though they're positive people, it doesn't mean that bad things aren't going on in their lives. They just have a, a different way of coping with them. Sure. And the great news in all of this is that a positive mindset and a negative mindset are both learned behaviors. So therefore, we can change them. They're not inherent in us. Now, we might have learned them strongly because of our upbringing or circumstances that we are part of, both positive or negative. Right. But they are learned behaviors and they are habits and they can be changed. So if you have a negative attitude and you want to have an exceptional life, an extraordinary life. And one of those things is to be positive. That helps you have healthy relationships. We're, this is kind of on the healthy side, healthy relationships, healthy mental well-being, healthy body, all those things that come from having a positive attitude. You can change it. Yeah. So the first thing, the first tip. Enlighten uh, us. Is practice <laughs> mindfulness. So mindfulness involves actively paying attention to your environment, both internal and external. I read a study says that most people's reactions throughout a day, 47% of the reactions that we have on a daily basis are autopilot, that we don't think about them. Somebody does something, we respond. We don't even think about it. It just, it just happens. So mindfulness means we actively look at everything that happens in our, in our lives externally, but then also how we are processing, processing those things internally as well and get off autopilot, take the cruise control off, put our foot on the brake and the gas and, and actually engage in our lives. I mean, 47%, think That's about so that. Much. Half of your life is just, you're just doing the things that you always do in the circumstances that, that come up. That's pretty crazy. So what are some things? I mean, think about it. So, you know, the the phone rings and, and that person's number comes up. You go, oh, my goodness, it's them again, right? And eventually when their number comes up, it becomes autopilot. You don't, you, your, your previous 
situations tell you how to act, how to think, how to feel, but you're not actively engaged in those things. It's just you're reacting. That's interesting. It is interesting. I don't interesting, really know it? what else to say about that. That's just kind of um, a crazy thought that you, you know, but it's also like preconceived, you know, or not, a, not actually preconceived. They're just, you know, history of interaction with that pe- that person gives you that feeling one way or another, you know. But but it's everything from, you know, somebody cuts somebody off in traffic and, you know, the person goes crazy swearing and stuff even though the other person can't hear them or something like right. that. It's just an automatic response. They didn't think about it. They didn't choose to have that response. It's just it's part of that 47%. So one of the keys is to just make sure that you are choosing how you are reacting to the world and really, really observing it every single moment of every single day. That might be enough. If you're just looking at it and going, wow, I normally would have reacted like this, but I'm not going to because I see what an idiot I look like or how I sound or how whatever, or this is how I feel when I react in that way, now I can change that, which now means I can have a more positive way of handling that or dealing with it. It could be a pretty powerful thing in our lives. Yeah, I think that that could really change a lot of aspects, if not all of your life. Um, You know, just thinking about the example of someone cutting you off and you, you know, flip them off or, you know, want to run into the side of their car, run them off the road or whatever angry thing that you're thinking. Man, Alicia went like... Listen, I don't actually... I Somebody... She said that Jeep (laughs) with the big tires. Look out, man. You don't want to cut her off. No, (laughs) I'm not cutting anyone off. I am far from the aggressive years of driving. (laughs) Um, I don't know. I think that for me anyway, I I remember a time where I would have, you know, probably reacted pretty hastily over that situation. But... Also, you have to consider others and think, you know, well, perhaps they have someone in the car that's hurt. The likeliness of that being true is probably pretty low, but, you know, they might have someone that they're rushing to the hospital or they might be having a terrible day or they might be, you know, obviously in a bigger hurry than you are. But your attitude towards the situation, you know, you thinking in your head, oh, I guess they're in a real big hurry, something like that, instead of allowing yourself to get into the negative side of, you know, wanting to, you know, reach out in anger or do something stupid or screaming inside of your car, whatever you're going to do that's, you know, falls on the negative side of the reactions, um, impacts your, your day far further time-wise than it would be to just go, oh, big deal, someone just cut me off, you know? Right. So if you react negatively, it might suck up your next hour and then you know maybe you're in the middle of your angry fit and your kid calls and you're like what do you want I just got cut off you know instead Mm. of you know so it affects it's like a I don't know and then you might answer a a work call or you get to where you're going and you're answering an email or whatever but you're still thinking about that person that cut you off you know that's part of the mindfulness yeah is to to understand why am I having this attitude with my kid when that they didn't do anything? Oh, it was this guy that cut me off yeah. an hour ago, and I'm still fuming about it. And here I am giving an attitude, and I'm being negative to my child or my customer or whatever the case yeah. may be. Yeah, it's but you have to have that awareness first. Yeah. The awareness is is key. And so, like, think, what put me in this negative yep. place? Whenever I feel like when I woke up this morning, I was okay. You know what? what now is making me kind of go down this rabbit trail of negative actions or thoughts. Yep. So, so the, next, the next key to having a positive attitude is to ad- adopt a growth mindset. So that means that we want to get better. It's, again, it seems very obvious, but there are people that are negative that simply don't want to be, they don't want to get positive. They're, yeah. they're completely miserable in their miserableness and they're okay with that they're yeah, they're happy in their miserableness it just yeah. seems like it's you know and sometimes uh, that just happens to be a grandparent <laughs> yeah I, just, <laughs> it's like a, I, I again i loved my grandma fox 
you know, she passed away years and years and years ago, but man, she was a miserable woman. <laughs> she was tough to be around. She liked me, so I, I'm yeah. okay with like I, I I loved her. So, you know, I, but so I did she, too, but she, she was, chose yeah. where she channeled that. You and know? she had she had a very instead of a growth mindset, she had a very fixed mindset. She did. She was yeah. like, This is how I am. I'm old, deal with it or don't. Yeah. Like it was just that and was I it. Don't care if you and don't I want don't to. Don't care if you don't want to be around me. Then don't be don't around be me. Don't be around me. And yeah. so, She's but that good. isn't a healthy mindset. It's, it's not. It's really not. But yeah, and and so we need to be constantly looking at ourselves and going, man, I need improvement in this part of my life. I need improvement in this part of my life. And here's some active ways that I can pursue that improvement. Yeah. And so having a growth mindset, really, 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 so. Understand what the, the, you know, the first thing, practice mindfulness, see the things in your life that, that are negative. The second is have a mindset that says, I want to improve these things. I want to grow. I want to be a better person tomorrow than I am today. And I hopefully I'm a better person today than I was yesterday. So the last thing, and you had touched on this, surround yourself with positive people. If you want to be a positive person, sometimes that means you have to really, really, really limit the amount of time you spend with negative people. It's just that simple. As guilty as it may make you feel, sometimes you just got to make the tough call. Right. But if, you, if you're practicing mindfulness, you're going, hey, why am I feeling guilty? Well, I'm feeling guilty because I'm not spending as much time with this person, you know, because they are negatively impact. I want to have a, gr- I want to get better. I want to have a growth mindset. Yeah. So therefore I have to do these things. So even if it's out of self-preservation, sometimes it is, you know, sometimes you just have to make that call. Yeah, I mean, based off of the things that that we went over today, negative people, if you're adopting a negative mindset because you are around negative people, they're actually literally sucking the life out of you. They will shorten your life. So that's that's a great reason to to be around around positive people. Like, look, dude, you're going to give me a heart attack. You can either start being positive (laughs) or I have to stop hanging around with you. I don't know that that's the only (laughs) factor in, you know, having a heart attack, but you know, it's definitely not healthy for you. It it definitely is not healthy. Yeah. And, and the people in your life, if you want to live an extraordinary life, if you want to live a different life, you need to have positive, positive people that have positive influence on your life. It's the only way that it's going to get better. Right. So anything to add to that? No, I think it's just a lot of self-aware, self-awareness, I guess is yep, the word I'm looking yep. um, that you kind of have to think about and just, you know, keep in the front of your mind is how, what kind of a life do I want to live? And are the choices that I'm making in my life directing me towards that? And if it's not, then you have to change it. And if it is, then keep pursuing those paths. Yeah. So the, the moral of the story is positivity, positivity pays off in huge, huge, huge ways. And we have control over whether or not we want to be positive or not. Yeah. We and what you it. allow in your life. Yep. So that's all for this week. We really hope that you got something great out of this. We, I hope that you the listeners are going to live a positive life that, that somehow today a little bit got in, sunk into that, that, that brain, that amazing, amazing brain that is in that head that is on your shoulders, and you start living a positive life. And ultimately, I hope that every single person is willing and able to strive to have an extraordinary life because an ordinary one will always be waiting for us. So until next week, Thank you so much for tuning into the Dare to Be Different podcast. We will see you next week. 